How I got involved with Steffi is Kawa and Eileen sent over a script and I thought it was quite interesting and different. I'm not saying I've read a lot of scripts, but I've had quite a few in my time and I thought this one kind of stood out and that's why I really wanted to get involved. The characters were strong characters. Each character has its own story and that's what kind of appealed to me. And another thing which appealed to me was the opportunity to introduce up and coming artists. I know a lot of artists, big artists, get used in short films and dramas and whatnot, but I think this was a chance to shine the light on up and coming artists for them to be heard as well. Another thing which is uh, quite good is that on YouTube you get a load of videos, you don't know whether they're good quality, bad quality, it's a bit of everything and this kind of sets the level for drama as like a high quality drama that is shot very well and is scripted very well. I've seen other things which have been high quality on YouTube but it hasn't been premiered first on YouTube, it's been on TV and then put on YouTube. So this is the first I think that I've seen where it's just gone straight to YouTube which is a good look. So yeah, drama music, that's a, a really kind of natural mix and it was very exciting when as I'm, I'm an actor in it as well but I was also a music consultant in it so like I bought through Mike Righteous who done a Find Me track, I bought through Seaslin who done a Census track and a Not More track and I know there was a lot of other up and coming artists there as well. This soundtrack is very good but I'm looking forward to all the other kind of episodes coming up because I have loads of up and coming artists and I think that's the sort of things that can make and break a drama. So if you haven't watched Steffi yet, make sure you click subscribe and watch the first episode here.